Eat Plain Stay is proudly brought to you by the Yasawa Island Resort Fiji, Pullman Bali Legi and Nawana, My Fiji, the Comfort Inn Haven Marina, Margaret's Beach Houses, the Sheraton and Western Resorts Fiji, antsales.com.au, Best Restaurants of Australia gift card and Top 10 Gourmet Destinations magazine. Hi and welcome to another episode of Eat, Play and Stay, coming to you from the Meat and Wine Co at South Bank in Melbourne CBD. This week we're travelling up and down the East Coast and we're beginning our journey in Ipswich, which is southwest of Brisbane. Take a look. Ipswich is centrally located in southeast Queensland and is the state's oldest provincial city. It's a great holiday destination that stretches across almost 1,090 square kilometres of picturesque countryside scenery with plenty to see and do in these gorgeous subtropical conditions. But in between visiting art galleries, wineries and cafes, or even taking in a golf championship or two, you'll need somewhere to stay. And I've found a hotel that will take care of all your accommodation needs. Metro Hotel Ipswich International is tucked away in the heart of Ipswich and it's just 40 kilometres away from Brisbane's CBD. So its central location means it's easy to get to and it's the perfect launching pad to start exploring all that Ipswich has to offer. Joining us now at Platform 9 Lounge Bar is David Morrison who is an Ipswich Council representative and also Alex Van Kersen who is the General Manager of the Metro Hotel. David, we'll start with you. Tell us a bit about what the Council has been doing to make Ipswich such a popular holiday destination. Council has planned for many years as a, a great motor sport precinct that has the Super V8s come every year. In our city we have over 500 parks. We have an uh, exciting park, Queen's Park, right in the heartland of the CBD, which is a free nature reserve, which is just like a free zoo. And also down the east end of the city, a brand new level one park called Rebel Domain that has got over a thousand visitors per weekend. So we also have award-winning uh, Railway Workshops Museum right here in the heart of the CBD, which has won many awards. We also have a free arts uh, gallery, which has uh, won many awards and also has a dedicated children's section to it. So whether you're into outdoor adventures, we, are, we as a council have purchased 5,000 hectares of environmental land that has walking trails, horse trails throughout it. So if you want to go for a walk, go for a canoe, go to museums, come to Ipswich. Alex, the Metro Hotel is such a big place. You've got so many amenities. Maybe start by telling us about the restaurant and the lounge bar. Uh, usually with happy hour, it's very busy here on a Friday. Everybody is watching the, the, the sport on the big screen. But you know, you can also come here in the weekends and just relax. Platform 9 restaurant is our award-winning restaurant. Um, it's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner, seven days a week. Uh, we're not open for lunch on Saturdays and Sundays. That's great. And you've also got a wonderful function space. Tell us a bit about that. We have seven very nicely appointed function rooms. We can cater for up to 400 people. We can do it for as little as two people. Actually, our entire ballroom is set up for a winter wonderland theme. Uh, which we're actually uh, having tonight here in our hotel, in the Metro Hotel Ipswich International. The four and a half star hotel spans across six storeys with 97 stylishly furnished guest rooms which look out over tranquil natural parklands. Visitors have the option to select from a wide range of room types including 84 deluxe or twin deluxe rooms, 11 single bedroom apartments, two executive spa suites and two disabled rooms as well. Before I head out to discover why Ipswich is such a great holiday destination, I'm going to sit down and enjoy a champagne breakfast here on the terrace at Platform 9 Restaurant. If you'd rather be flying like a bird than just bird watching, why not book a flight with pterodactyl helicopters so you can hover, dip and zoom above the sweeping sides of Ipswich. There are an abundance of varying flight types to suit a vast range of guests, ranging from joy flights to scenic flybys and even tours where you can land at nearby attractions such as parks and wineries for a light lunch before hitting the skies once more. 
Well, what an incredible experience that was. I can highly recommend doing a pterodactyl helicopter tour to see some of the most sensational sights of Ipswich from a bird's eye view. Pterodactyl helicopters also offer quick, no-fuss chopper transfers to the Australian Motorcycle Museum. The museum boasts an incredible collection of more than 200 vintage and rare motorbikes. With a stunning spectrum of local and international models dating as far back as 1905 to today's two-wheel terrors, the museum boasts one of the most diverse assortments of motorcycles in the world. We're here at the National Paintball Fields now, which is just 10 minutes out of Ipswich, and joining us is Emma. Emma, tell us, what is paintballing? Uh, paintball is an action-packed adrenaline pumping sport. Um, it's full of excitement and it's really for ages 15 and over. We can have up to 75 year olds, but the main demographics are 15 to mid-30s. Fantastic. And you've got 10 different fields here, all with different themes. Tell us about a couple of them. Um, we have a village here. The village has got aeroplanes, sheds and ambulances, trucks and cars. And it's one of our most popular fields. And the objective there is to get the bomb into the vehicle. So one side has to get the bomb into the aeroplane, the other has to get it into the ambulance. And you'll see that today as well. We also do have a camp, it's called Hell's Camp, and there's two big gullies and each team starts on either end. They meet together, they're not allowed to cross the barrier in the middle, and the objective is to get their flag on their barrel. Problem is the barrels are right beside each other, so there's not much chance there. <laughs> With spectacular scenery, welcoming locals, comfortable accommodation and amazing activities appropriate for the whole family, there's little wonder why Ipswich is building a reputation as one of Australia's holiday hotspots. Welcome to El Circo. Let me tell you a little bit more about the El Circo experience. We started about four years ago on the 13th of July 2007. It's been going absolutely crazy ever since. We do a show once a week and sometimes two or three times. We even have a touring El Circo called El Circo Rouge. This is a very interesting experience. When you come in, we transport you into another world. A little bit of a European experience, if you will. We mix cabaret, singing, juggling acts, circus acts with amazingly weird food. So be ready for nine courses and nine circus acts. What do you expect with the food? Well, let's say we love to play with our food at El Circo. So you may be served a virtual dish, for instance, which is a balloon filled with the essence of popcorn or probably a faux risotto. What is that? Well, you will find out very soon. In the meantime, why don't you enjoy your experience? El Circo is very unique to Sydney, and it is yours tonight. just five minutes from the picturesque coastal town of Ocean Grove truly is a one of its kind. With an eclectic mix of award-winning wines, quirky accommodation and surrounds and a restaurant which ignites all of the senses, gives it the well-deserved reputation of being one of Victoria's finest and most intriguing venues. Stephen, Oakdean is such a unique property. Can you tell us a little bit about it, please? I can. It's, uh, well, it's become a destination in a pretty short time. It is unique. It is different. Um, we're standing in a an upside down yeah. house which houses our cellar door and uh, people just come to visit to have a look at the iron artwork and the 
trackless train and the orchid shed and things just to, to visit this place, so, which is great. Now talking about the cellar door, tell us about the wines that you've got here. It's Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, they're the biggest holdings here. We have uh, about five acres of each and uh, we make some still wines from those and also some sparkling, uh, sparkling wines. We have another five acres of Sauvignon Blanc and we have some Shiraz. And Stephen, can you tell us a little bit about the accommodation here? The original idea, apart from the vineyard, was to, to, to accommodate people here in the, in the, um, in the farmhouse. And uh, once again, like the rest of the property, we have some pretty unique accommodation and uh, very, very different themed rooms. We're in the award-winning Oak Dean restaurant with the award-winning executive chef, Marty Chester. And Marty, we're going to need more wall space soon for your awards. Yeah, it looks like that, doesn't it? I mean, um, the awards have been coming thick and fast over the last few years, and I think that's down to the consistency of the service and food. Uh, we've recently won um, Best Restaurant in a Winery at the um, Restaurant and Catering Awards, and that was a national award. And Marty, the venue here is so different. Can you tell us a little bit about the different rooms? The private dining rooms now we use for private parties, weddings, small weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, um, and predominantly uh, degustation style dinners up to sort of eight courses with matching uh, Oak Dean wines, which is always seems to be a lot more popular these days, so you get to try all the different styles of food. Now tell us a little bit about the food here, it looks amazing. We've got some slow cooked ocean trout which we've cooked in a water bath for sort of 15 minutes at 42 degrees to set the protein, so it's got a real sort of beautiful texture to it. And this is one of my favourite dishes, it's a slow cured kingfish, mm -hmm. and that comes with some barbecued octopus, some compressed cucumber and some dehydrated sushi rice which gives the dish lots of texture. And we've got a slow cooked kurabura 14 hour pork belly which is um, comes with a roasted scallop and a raw garlic um, and uh, raw potato coleslaw. And we've got a, a Tasmanian smoked salmon terrine with some local goat curd from Drysdale, some Avruga caviar. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Marty. Thank you. So there you have it. Oak Dean really is a destination. It's the perfect place to eat, play and stay. The Great Ocean Road is truly one of Victoria's greatest scenic locations and it all begins right here in Torquay, the home of Bells Beach and birthplace of iconic brands Rip Curl and Quicksilver. Torquay is famous for its stunning beaches, welcoming locals and laid back vibe which makes it the perfect destination for a family getaway. And only moments away from this very spot you'll find everything you need at Torquay Front Beach Beach Houses. Front Beach Torquay Beach Houses provide guests with their choice of three fully self-contained townhouses that stand only a short stroll from one of Torquay's most beautiful beaches. Each well-appointed beach house exudes a warm and inviting atmosphere and is individually decorated in summer colours with shades of blue and cream which work in perfect harmony with the glossy timber floorboards and cosy furnishings. Aside from the appealing aesthetics, the two-bedroom townhouses also feature an open fireplace, LCD TV with DVD player, fully equipped kitchen and CD player with iPod connectivity. There's also a spacious bathroom, split system air conditioning and a private outdoor barbecue and entertainment area, which is a great place to relax and enjoy the outdoors. The beach houses can cater for a wide range of guests and can accommodate from two to six people. Front Beach Torquay Beach Houses also extends their warm welcome to your four-legged friends, so don't forget to bring along your pets. Once you've settled in, there's no shortage of fun and entertainment to be had with an abundance of restaurants, cafes, parklands and playgrounds, all within easy walking distance of the beach houses. So why not start your Great Ocean Road adventure and let the fun begin on Victoria's famous surf coast, right here at Front Beach Torquay Beach Houses. Now we have some delicious meals in front of us from the Meat and Wine Co. And joining us is Peter, who is the head chef. Tell us what have you prepared tonight? All right, so over here we've got a Wagyu 3. It's a 500 day grain fed, which is four weeks aged. And we grill it to perfection. We get the char grill on each uh, equally balanced mm -hmm. so that you don't get the marks, the cross marks on this, but it's practically to rotate it so you get all the flavor coming out from the char onto the meat. Sure. And over there, we've got the full rack of pork, which is a fast moving item. This is incredible. It's, uh, it's a one kilo. It's 10 to 12 uh, bones on the, on, the, on the full rack. And there again, we dip it four times in our rib basin, in our rib basin. 
There we got our Portuguese chicken, which is slow cooked, and then we finish it off on the grill. And actually, we throw it on the grill. We then finish it off in the oven, which is a peri peri sauce on top, which is a hot chili sauce. Throw it in the oven, get it out, put it on a fragrant rice, and over there is the Portuguese sauce served with a lemon van dyke. So over here we got the the meat and wine salad, which is a new item on our menu. That's great, Peter. Thank you so much for joining us. Now stay tuned because after the break we head to Sydney for plenty more great places to eat, play, and stay. Give me somewhere to play, show me